predisposed to a certain experience, he has been presented in, it, in the course of his life with a certain amount of, of data uh, uh, into a direct experience with the language, and we can investigate the data that's available to this person. And having done so, in principle, we're faced with a very clear and reasonably clear and, and well-delineated scientific problem, namely the problem of accounting for the gap between the really quite small quantity of data, small and rather degenerate quantity of data that's presented to the person, to the child, and the very highly articulated, highly systematic, uh, profoundly organized uh, resulting knowledge that he somehow derives from this data.
there are remarkable limitations on the kinds of systems that emerge from the very different kinds of experiences to which people are exposed. Well, this, there's only one possible explanation for it in a, in a, what one, one can say in a rather schematic fashion, uh, for this uh, remarkable phenomenon, namely the assumption that the individual himself uh, contributes uh, a good deal, an overwhelming part, in fact, of the general schematic structure and perhaps even of the specific content of the knowledge that he ultimately derives from his very scattered and limited experience. That is, to put it rather loosely, the child must begin with the knowledge, certainly not with the knowledge that he's hearing English or Dutch or French or something else, but he does start with the knowledge that he's hearing a human language of a very narrow and explicit type that permits a very small range of variation. And it's because he begins with that highly organized and very restrictive schematism that he's able to make the huge leap from scattered and degenerate data to highly organized knowledge. And I would claim then that this instinctive knowledge, if you like, this schematism that makes it possible to derive complex and intricate knowledge on the basis of very partial data is one fundamental constituent of human nature. But then I assume uh, that in other domains of human intelligence, in other domains of human cognition and even behavior, uh, something of the same sort must be true. Well, the collection of this uh, mass of uh, innate scheme, uh, schematisms, uh, innate organi organizing principles, uh, which guides our social and intellectual uh, uh, and individual behavior, that's what I mean to refer to by the concept of human nature.